So we have uh, Abetuel Jr. that asked me what I think about the Brazilian sheen and the Brazilian heavy metal in general. Uh, well, I have to say, I don't know so much. Of course, I know Sepultura and of course I know Angra. And then uh, I can say I know just a bit of Ibria, Ratos de Porao, the Alma, the Edue. Not so much, but what I know is uh, something good. I mean, uh, the Brazilian sheen in heavy metal is good with good musicians and uh, good singers. And of course, I think there is uh, a kind of uh, same problem that we have maybe in Italy. So the main thing, the main kind of music is pop, uh, strong Italian pop music. So probably in Brazil it's a kind of uh, the Brazilian music, you know, the, the, it's inside the culture. So um, it's not so easy for a band that wants to play heavy metal to, from Brazil mm -hmm. or the same in Italy. Yeah? So. I confess that I usually usually see much more support from uh, bands from Scandinavia or Germany. Eh? They can have much more support from their nation because the heavy metal music is much more stronger there. But uh, this is even better because I mean, if you live in a country that it's not easy to play heavy metal and you do heavy metal and you do it good, well, you deserve more because you're, you put much more energy and, uh, and of course if you do this it means that, uh, that you have really something inside eh? that you are doing with uh, your heart. Eh? Then I have Daniel Valenza. Uh, that simple, he asked me what I think about the, the, the the Brazilian fans. Well, um, I have to say that uh, in, in all South America, the, 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 the fans usually are really hot. Yeah? They like to scream, sing uh, uh, during the show, and, uh, and so if you play a show in South America in general, it's uh, for sure much more engrasado and uh, funny than. Uh, than in Europe, usually. And especially in Brazil, uh, the fans are really, really hot. So it's a, a pleasure to play in Brazil because you know that you will have a, a kind of quite a good uh, audience. They will sing with you, they will interact with the band. So they will make the, the show uh, funny uh, and beautiful because this is something nice. No? We are a little more in South America, a little more wild. But this I like because in the end we are not playing uh, pop music. So we are playing rock music. So it's good to be a little louder and shout and, and be a little more wild. Then we have Rafael Tonon that asked me, uh, oh, it's a è una buona pregunta. He just asked me how I can manage to remember all the words of Rhapsody or Vision Divine or Angra because in my cabeza and my mind uh, must be a lot of words <laughs> floating. Eh? Yeah, he just means Camelot and uh, whatever. Uh, well, I think I have a good memory for sure because otherwise you can't and uh, yeah sometimes it's a bit hard because sometimes can happen that while you sing you, you are singing a word and your mind is thinking I uh, ah, no, no because uh, of course especially in English now nah, the words are uh, and especially in rock music uh, a lot of bands use same kind of uh, same of the same kind of the same words. Nah? So sometimes I see a word singing in Angra, nah? and Camelot was also using these words. So for one second you are thinking, 
Ah, no, no. <laughs> or oh, the same can be with Rhapsody. Eh? But it's normal. Eh? I saw Bruce Dickinson twice, two times, that uh, did a big mistake, a big, a little mistake. Well, maybe for the fans can be big, but in my opinion, it was little. It just repeat the, 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 the verse of a song two times. Anyway, I don't remember now if he forget the first verse or the second, whatever. He said two times the same verse. So, and it was, I mean, cool anyway. So in the end, it's a ni nice question. And uh, of course, it can happen sometimes that you are a little worried and thinking about, but usually I don't have problem because I think I have good memory. And uh, of course, when you, when you do ensayo, when you do uh, a lot of practice, yeah, uh, you can have no problem. Then I have a secret. Usually, I have a book uh, from '94, and uh, I like to write the lyrics of the songs. Write and write. So in this way, you can have also a visual aspect. So in this book, I I have all the lyrics of Vision, Camelot, Angra. Uh, Webstory not because there are too much. <laughs> the book will be finished. But anyway, I write the lyrics like uh, Silence and Distance, like Nova Era. Like. So I have also this visual aspect because I was writing the words. And this is something that worked very well, in my opinion. So, bye. And uh, thank you for for the question and I would like to thank all the fans, all the people that are asking this question to, to me. Mas é business. Ele já vê como como as grandes bandas trabalham, como se faz o negócio lá fora. Ele tem uma visão bastante extensa do, do, do show business.